Hello, Mary Lou here, and I have a couple of journals to share with you. I'm glad you stopped by. It's been a while since I've made a journal. I've been busy with gardening, and now that that's pretty much done for the year, I've been focusing on making digital kits, and I've been working all the long on these two journals. Um, so let me do a walkthrough. I'll start with um, I'll start with the little one and then work up to the big one. This is called Golden Meadows. Um, they're both made from the same kit, and it is my kit called the Notes, Jur Notes Journal Collection. Okay, or Jur Notes, Notes Journal Kit. Anyway, um, I put a sari silk tie on it, and it's made, the cover's made from a, a file folder, a, a green hanging file folder, as you can see. I put lace on the spine, and I did um, glue the the sari silk in. And if you don't want to tie, then you can simply snip right along the line of the of the lace to remove it, so that it's not not a problem. Let me take you inside. All the details will be down below as far as uh, size and what I put in the what I put in these because I did a lot of work and you can see um, there's a printout from one of my page well actually I made this page and there are freebies I'm going to release them once I put this video up there are freebies for this particular kit uh, that you can find if you go to my Facebook page my my business face you know porch swing designs Facebook page and um, there there will be links in there to show you I'll try to put it with this posting with these when I post these I'll try to remember um, and if I don't just rattle my cage and <laughs> I'll do it but um, there's some I made some additional pages and a, a few more things because I just wanted a few more things for these two journals so anyway I used some Luster, uh, it's called, if I can read my writing, Metallic Luster, that's in a um, Galax, no, Gold Rush, if you can see that along the edges, gives you some, a little bit of glitz and aging. Anyway, let's go inside. <clears throat> Hope you can see this okay. Um, because it's you know, although it's made with 110 pound cardstock inside and out, and I did put Tyvek down the spine, um, I did go ahead and put a pocket here. Um, just folded the the file folder over and made the side pocket here. That just helps reinforce the spine all the more. Um, okay, here's a here's a card that I made. I I sat one evening and took all my bits and pieces of tea dyed and coffee dyed papers and this is a tea dyed these are tea dyed papers for the most part but i did them i did like a franken paper and i didn't stitch them i just glued them all together and made pages so i put them on the backs of some of my cards so there's a couple of cards this one doesn't have it this one does and also through in a couple of places I did put some extra tea dyed paper. I just wanted to make sure you had plenty to journal on. There's a tab here. Here's a Reed Donnelly flip. And behind it is a pocket, a little butterfly, and a little file folder that has a couple of cards in it. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then in the back here, there's a mason jar, a tag, um, a little booklet that you can journal in. So it's not little, it's a tall booklet. <laughs> Oops, let me get these all put back in. And I'll show you this one. Okay, there's an envelope. And inside of it 
are some bits and pieces that I didn't use from the kit. Oh, and there's the journal. I will put these in the journal. There's a handmade buy that I'll put somewhere, and the journal belongs to. I'll put somewhere on the back of something because there's no room on the on the front of the book in these in this type of a book. So I'll figure out a place to put them. So there's that page. I did put crocheted lace on several of the pages. Here's a flap of Tim, Tim Holtz paper that I created into a journaling spot. And there's some stenciling I did. Here's a belly band. And these, these, this flower is made by my good buddy Charlene Sherrod, or Char, as I call her. I put some lace across here. Here's a tall card. It's got some of my Franken tea dyed paper on the back. And here's another envelope. And um, it has a card in it from the kit. Okay. I did I did sneak a few bunnies into this kit. There's butterflies and dragonflies and all sorts of things. I'm at the, about the end of these French doilies, but I found a shop. The shop that I normally order this from said she was out and that the company was no longer making them, but I found a stash on an F, another Etsy shop. Here's a, um, it's tracing paper that I had sprayed with some colors that are in the kit that I thought, and it has some gold in it. Here's a couple of pockets. There's a file folder, a mini one, and a lace um, bobbin and um, tag. And there's some tiny things up here, all from the kit. Here's a sack. It's got a tall card, and there's another card. I did do a lot of, um, I in the kit there were words that I provided for you and numbers, and so I went through and put them on some of the tags and cards, And but there are more left I think that you can use. There's a bunny stamp. Here's a page from, I can't remember the book, but it's a silky smooth and a little bit of sheen on it beautiful botanicals. Here's a lined perpetual calendar that you can use. Here's an altered paper clip that I used one of the flowers that Char made and that I purchased from her. Here's some cards. This is a, a list so you can journal on there. There I put secret. Okay, so they're all in there. And over here is a double pocket. So there's a tall card and a tag. And up here, this pocket goes all the way to the end. And so it's this large book. And it's got quite a bit of tea stained papers in it. So you've got a lot that you can journal in. And there's, I think, three different sizes in here. And if you've been noticing, there's lace throughout on the pages and sometimes as a little fringe stamping. It's the other side of that botanical. Here's an envelope that I made as a journaling spot. You open it up. Inside there's a large postcard for more journaling space. And a little stamp there. And here is a little tuck spot, and that's another place where you can do some journaling. Here's another journaling spot. I tried to give you lots of places to journal in this book, so in this journal. So here's a, it says Flutter By Butterfly. And that's a tag, or a card, excuse me, from the kit. 
I think something stuck there. And so I ended up just covering it with a one of my fussy cuts from the kit. Here's a tall tag or tall card that I made. It's got the Franken tea dyed and coffee dyed papers on the back. I put some of this trim and I, I used uh, Wink Estella throughout. You can see it here. It just, it doesn't, I don't think it rubs off, but it's not like glitter. It, it's sparkly, but it's put on with like a brush and it's liquid. So once it dries, it pretty much stays there. Anyway, I just loved that. I thought that was a, a nice addition. There's the other side of that page and the pretty doily. Here's another double pocket. You've got a, a card here. Rolodex styled card, tag, and a ticket. These are all in the kit, including the little bird here. And there's a flower from Shara's shop. I don't know if she's selling them anymore, but there's a bird that I, this is on the, the um, extra page, one of the extra pages, and I think the tickets are as well. So, That little tail just tucks in so his beak can be sticking out so he doesn't miss a thing. Here's a pocket and there's a card and a tag and then this little skinny envelope and in it is one of my cards and I think this is another one that I made extra and it's got a piece of tea dyed paper. Okay. There's the other side of that piece of Tim Holtz cardstock, and then I made a, um, a journaling spot here for you. So I think you can see even here there's lines. That's why I put it there because, oh, that's cool. And so there's there's a variety of papers. This is tea dyed. I also have parchment paper in here. There's lined paper. I created some lined papers. Here's the last page of this journal. And the pocket on this side has this card, this card, and another piece of tea dyed paper for you to journal on. So there's the little guy. Now let me show you the big guy. The big one. This one is a two signature journal where that was just one. You can see it's tied with sorry silk ribbon. Um, in the journal kit I gave you an extra piece with this word notes on it and so I built it up made make it's got two layers on top of the cardstock that's here and then I I filled it in with stickles on the spine you can see I used a par portion of a beautiful doily a fabric or a crochet doily I did the gilding around the edges here as I did with the other one okay Let's go in. I hope you're still hanging with me. Okay, we have a pocket on the front. And it's got, this is a tag I made out of um, the paper, I think is artist paper. Nope. I don't, I'm not sure. I can't remember what paper. It's, it may be Nina in um, a cream. I don't know. Anyway, I did some stamping in gold. I used, um... Dewdrop Brilliance Galaxy Gold to stamp it with. Okay, and there's a ticket. And on the front here is this journal belongs to. Okay, there's the first page. And here we have in the back pocket a card and a tag. And if you open this up, you get another card it's hard to get it in there but it it goes and once you use that a little bit it'll loosen up 
another one of Char's flowers here. There's another piece of the Tim Holtz um, cardstock with lines on it. And I made a journaling spot on this side. Here's a sprayed paper. And it's got a little, it's, it's glistening because it's Lindy's. The Lindy's Sparkly Spray. Some stenciling. Here's a double pocket. There's another one of the little birdies that you get in the extra stuff. And card and a tag. And here we have file folder like in the other journal. And a couple of cards, a card and a ticket. Get in there. Okay. And there's another page from the kit. Here's a, um, a white, a large white bag that I did some collaging so that you'd have a journaling spot there. And in the pocket is a card and a piece of tea dyed paper. There's another page from that beautiful book that I found on Amazon. Okay, um, you'll see in a minute, there's another, there's an envelope in this one. I'll show it to you when we get there. Like I did in the, in the little book, I, but it's a gold envelope. And so I used part that I cut off to make the belly band and the little stopper there. There's another piece of tea dyed paper. And then here's another booklet. Okay, filled with tea dyed paper. There's a perpetual calendar. There's some fibers and a alternate, um, an altered paper clip with one of Char's flowers on it. And in the pocket, tag and the, the card. Over here, we have a card. Yeah and a jar. And again, there's Wink of Stella throughout, and I did some of the brilliance here and there as well. Like on the flowers, I think I did Wink of Stella and sometimes brilliance. Anyway, here's another pocket. There's the other side of the perpetual calendar. Lots of fibers. And this is some handmade paper that I I used in here and I it, it looks so pretty with the kit so I thought yeah we'll go there okay there's the other side of the white sack and I again I did some collaging and gave you a journal spot here's a large envelope it has a card and some journaling paper to journal on tea dyed so you got a large there is a lot of journaling space in both of these journals and you can see it's got lots of flowers I'm loving the flowers this time of year because my gardens slowly fading away. There's a dragonfly and some things from the kit and then I don't know who makes these but I I don't know if I was the first to make the little blouse or if somebody else did it. I Who knows anymore but there's a bird and there's a little squatty tag and I think others have done this kind of a pocket but I I had never seen anybody make it into like a blouse. So that's, that I think is my invention, but I don't know. There's nothing new under the sun, the Bible says. So there's another spray, the other side of that sprayed paper and the other side of the Tim Holtz cardstock where I gave you some journaling spots there and there. Here's another altered paper clip with one of the flowers from Char's shop. And here's some, a tag that I, created using some more of that that pretty hand uh, handmade paper and then here's another card 
and the fibers. That's the end of the first signature, and we're on to the second. I hope you're still sticking by me. Here's that envelope I mentioned. I did some collaging, and then I put uh, a napkin on here that had a purple butterfly and had some colors in the kit. So there you have a large postcard. And you can see where I cut it off up there at the top so that it would fit in on this page. And that gave me the bits to make the, the belly band. There's a side tuck with a couple of things in there. And Tim Holtz paper with another place to do some journaling. And there's the some more of the sprayed tracing paper. Here's a little pocket with a card and a tag in it. And there again, another writing spot or journaling spot. There's another journaling spot on a page on this side as well. Here's the tag in this this one. It's just so pretty. Lots of journaling space, even on the sideways paper. Now, I know Char likes to write sideways in her journal. All right, this is a pocket that I learned from Gail Agostinelli, and she learned it from somewhere else, but someone else. But back here is a large piece of, it's a good-sized piece of tracing, pa or tracing paper, of tea-dyed papers. And then in the second pocket, there's another piece of tea dyed paper. So you've got all these little secret places that are kind of tucked in. And then there's three pockets here and each of them hold little places where you can journal on the fronts and the back. I just put birds on the front because I thought they needed something. Just I didn't care for them just plain so I stamped one of my birdie stamps on there. So there you go. There's three of them. There's the other side of that beautiful page. And here's center of my second. Well, it got quiet because my computer shut down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, there's a belly band here. There's another tag that I made with gold painting and it's a very fancy butterfly. I hope you can see that. And some more tea dyed paper. Silk, sorry silk and some fibers up here. Slide them there. This opens up so you can journal in there. And then there's a side pocket over here. I used a, a tan or whatever um, doily here. Here's a tag or a card and an envelope with, so oops, there's some more of those pieces from in this kit or in this journal with a piece of tea dyed paper. I want to be sure and shut that up so I don't spill it everywhere. Okay. So that's that. There's the other side of that. Okay, I think this is called a tip-in. I can never keep track of the names that everybody gives them. But it's a it's an um, embroidered piece of fabric, of white cotton fabric. It's got colors in the kit, yellows and golds and, and the greens and the pinks and the blues. The nice thing about it is right back here, is a secret pocket. It is absolutely closed in, so not only can you journal there, you can hide something in here if you want to. Keep something very precious in here. Here's a another journaling spot that I created on one of the sacks with a card and a little, well, two little cards. There's the sprayed paper, the doily. Another journaling spot. Okay, here's another Reed Donnelly flip. If I can get under it. There you go. And in the pocket, I put this long oh there's a there's the little file folder with some cards in it. Small little cards. Here's an envelope. 
and it has a tag in it. And that just sits down here. And then a butterfly. And back here, there was a fussy cut flower arrangement and a card to journal on. You can do front and back. And then there's a tall booklet and a tag. And there's the last page of the two signatures in the back pocket. I've signed my name here. Here's a tag that I created with stamp. There's a little number three card. And that's that journal. So I thank you for stopping by. Both of these journals will be listed in my uh, Etsy shop. All the information's down below. So please check it out. Have a great day. Again, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have never subscribed, I hope you will. And you have a good day. God bless you. Bye-bye now.